Oh my God, this is not a good idea. Most people have seen the light nowadays and either run a drop of post or just manually move their seat up and down depending on the trail. A low seat gives you that space to move around and makes it much easier to go faster. To be fair though, I think there are still a fair few of us out there that are hanging on to our old fixed seat positions. I haven't moved that in years and years, in fact, and uh, I think I still go all right down hills. Si, you're living in the 90s, mate. Even the World Cup cross country pros are running drop of seat posts. You've got to get with the programme. Right then, lads, let's fix this once and for all. So you do a run with your seat down. Mark, let's do a run with our seat up. See how it goes. Sounds dangerous. All right, has anyone got a tape measure so I can make sure it's back in the right place? You're going to be throwing your fixed seat post away after this. You won't even need a tape measure. Right, here goes nothing. I'm not sure I like the sound of this. Ah! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> really hard to get your weight back on this particular bit. The seat keeps getting in the way. It's banging between my thighs. It's hard to pump and manoeuvre the bike. These rollers are horrible. Pedley section is coming into its own. I can stay seated, putting the power down with the least effort possible. I can't lean the bike over as I'd like. Jumping with your seat up is so dangerous. It just wants to smack you in the behind and pitch you over the front. Run number one, seat post in the correct mountain bike position. Now then, I will admit that on mega steep stuff, or even slightly steep that having your post up kind of does get in the way but then I just rode all the way up here on a really nice light bike and my seat was in the right place and now oh, my seat's where I want it to pedal out of stuff just like that Whoa. Now a bit of fire road, seat's in the right place, see, seat in the right place, no stress. This is more like it, seat down. Straight away, you can be way more aggressive on the bike, hanging off the back, hammering turns. You can see I can lean the bike over without the seat getting in my way. Pumping down these holes. This is going to be so much faster. I think even Sai will be shocked. I'm sure we smashed our time with a seat up by at least 10 to 15 seconds. Second run, seat, God knows where it is. Down side where it should be. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it instantly feels like significantly faster. I reckon if I practiced in this position, it would get pretty bloody quick. Bloody out, cornering is ridiculously fast. God, that was a lot easier. Really want to sit down and pedal, but I guess I'm not allowed. I tell you what, I'm out of breath. Right then, so four runs later, we've got the results. We haven't seen them yet. Before we look, predictions, guys. Feels much faster to me. You can, just, you can move your weight around on the bike a lot better, and especially for cornering, it feels like you can get your centre of gravity much lower if your seat's not up. I'm going to make a bit of a prediction here. I think that Neil, Neil and I will be considerably faster with our seat 
down. Yeah. Because it felt so alien riding with the seat up. You, Si, I think will be, the gaff will not be as big because you're not used to riding with your seat down. So it's gonna be interesting. All right, I think that's a good shout actually. I think putting your seat down for the first time in 15 years, you probably won't quite get the same benefits as you would do if you did it more often. But, <laughs> right, so I was six seconds slower with my seat down. <laughs> that's a good shout. Uh, right then, and you guys were, uh, right, hang on, let's do some math. 17 second quicker with your seat down. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> in fact, you know, this is an interesting one. I was one second slower than you guys with my seat up compared to you. So, uh, there so we go. So, pretty then. close with seats up, yeah. <laughs> we could do seat up downhill racing. <laughs> I might be all right there. Anyway, so, there we go then. I think you're right, Mark. I think maybe I do need to get used to having my seat down. Because actually, it did feel quicker. It felt significantly quicker. Like you said, you can get lower in the turns. Like I was able to get my body into positions that you know I can't normally do. And also, when we actually picked up a few uh, shots after our runs, I also uh, nearly crashed. And there was no way I could have held it up if I'd had my seat up. But I was able to kind of. Do you hold it think up. that the reason that you were faster with your seat up was because how efficient your pedaling was, and that was kind of your Achilles heel on that run? Yeah, I think so, actually. The run was kind of one of two halves, wasn't it? So we had like a, a steep, non pedally bit, and then quite a flat, pedally bit for what, like a minute or so at the bottom? And so I reckon being able to sit in the saddle, I certainly didn't feel half as pumped when I got to the bottom with my seat up. So yeah, maybe on a different run, it would have been no contest, but uh, yeah. Anyway, I did, I did think, actually, <clears throat> if I could, I would get a dropper post, possibly. <laughs> Converted. Possibly. Yeah. You guys kind of make it look good fun. What do you think? Drop a post. Seat down, seat up. Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to GMBN. Yeah, it's a good point. Subscribe. They reckon they can watch some other videos as well. Should you click up there and up there? <laughs> it's blaming some, some good links. Click on them. <laughs>